Interviewing. It's great subject. It's, uh, you know, in some ways it's extremely easy, and in other ways it's uh, maybe more complicated than it appears. And now, Edgar Kill and I didn't interview him in his house. Uh, I would have, but the only time he could meet me was like about 8 or 9 o'clock at night, and I didn't really want to do that. And he lived in, I knew where he lived, he lived in a real remote area, he was a Klansman, and uh, got convicted in the Mississippi burning case eventually in 2005. But anyway, so I just said, well, uh, well, let me just take you and your wife out to eat. I said, do you like catfish? And they're like, oh, I love catfish. So I took them out for catfish. So that's how, you know, that's kind of how I operate. I, I, you know, eating is great, you know, because you, you sit down with people, you eat, and they feel comfortable, and nothing like that. So I guess a good rule of interviewing is bring snacks. No, I'm just <laughs>
my wife's from, as I mentioned, from upstate New York, so that's where the wedding was. And so I told my mom and dad, okay, don't tell Karen. Do not tell Karen about this lawsuit. And, you know, I'll tell her once the wedding's over, the honeymoon's over, I'll tell her all about it. But I don't want her worrying, right? And so, sure enough, my dad, <laughs> you know, brought it up. Hey, did you tell her about the lawsuit? I'm like, oh. <laughs> Tell her about the suit, that's what it said. Hey, did you tell her about the suit? I'm like, oh no, dad, you know, it's like you're killing me. Suit, suit, my wife's like, suit, suit, what did you do to your suit? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I said, I wish it was that simple. I said, I've been sued for 3.25 million. And she goes, oh, thank God, I thought you had done something to your suit. 